Josh, how you get to the halfway point of the season with the club in fourth place and you've been involved in nearly every game, how, how do you assess the first half? Um, yeah, things are things are progressing. We've a few ups and downs, obviously. Um, team's building in a good direction, so we're far from the finished article, so it's just about just getting better every week and adapting to some new systems. And um, no, it's, an, it's an enjoyable team to be part of at the moment. And seven wins out of eleven. If you if you double that, it, it, you, you could you could be in the playoffs come the end, and that, and that, that would seem to be seen as a as a major improvement from last season. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. But I suppose it's an old cliche, but I suppose we're just looking at every game as we go, and um, it's more about just improving the, about what we're doing in our, in our game every week. And I think results will just come with that. Um, I mean, that gets said the world over in every team, and that's probably because it's true. So um, yeah, we're just sticking to that sort of philosophy, trying to get better every week and keep working on on things when we things we do well, and then obviously the things we're not doing so well. You say about new systems. In what way has Johan got more out of the forwards in the first half of the season? Because that's been very plain. Uh, I think there's been a, bit, uh, a good buy-in. Um, some of the work we did in the pre-season, a uh, couple of weeks when Johan was over here, sort of set the foundation, um, and the, the team's developed. The players are developing, and um, a little bit more clearer in the, the direction we're heading, I suppose. Um, and with clarity, it gives you gives you confidence to go forward and do your job. So, um, yeah, I suppose the, the player buy-in's been a major factor there. And does he have a, a, a does, he, does he drive higher standards than previous coaches have? Um, I, all coaches drive higher standards. I suppose it's how you do it and how you come across. Um, he's certainly someone that, as players, you want to follow and you don't want to let down. Um, and yeah, he's. He holds us to account, but he's always held accountable as well. So it's, it's sort of, yeah, you're on, both on the same playing field, and it makes you makes you want to train hard and work hard for, for that sort of coach, I suppose. Has what happened at the AJ Bell earlier in the season been mentioned this week at all? Um, not a huge. I mean, obviously in the back of our minds, everyone, everyone will be hurting from that and feeling feeling a little bit of <laughs> annoyance at what happened up there last time, but. It's sort of the same. It's the same principle. We go out and do what what we know we can do, and stick to our system, and perform well. Um, we don't need, need to worry about the past too much, really.